up, you have an amazing gift. Uh-huh. Like, I take fucking cry like but when he told me a couple of those things just then like there is no way that anyone else would have known any of that information at all whatsoever there's no way that anyone would have known what you have just said to me no way no way you are so gifted thank you so 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 much oh, thank you she is coming forward in my in my mind at the moment and i know that she is like your number one supporter your grandma i know with her like you did get warning that she would be passing away didn't you um because she's talking about being sick for like eight months really like really unwell for like eight months does that make sense she in her like early 80s when she passed like 82 83 yeah yeah um and i know that she is this is your mum's mum isn't it yeah she, it's she's saying it's okay to you because I know that you ha- have been worried about not being able to see her right at the end or not being able to to be oh at home when she passed away mm. and I know that she wants to tell you it's okay and tell him not to feel bad that he couldn't make it at that last moment and I I tried mm. to so much and yeah. your your grandfather on that side of the family would have been like a very very hard working man wouldn't he yeah. yeah I know he like he didn't stop until the day that he died is the feeling that I get with with him um yeah. and his his passing must have been like quite a big shock to everyone wasn't it, it was yeah um because he's just saying that his heart just stopped no yeah, that's what happened yeah um, and I know that he also has been someone who has been with you throughout your darkest moments and has pulled you out of them. Uh, I don't know if there was a car accident or a car uh, issue for yourself. It could have been a lot worse than what it ended up being, uh, or it could have been really, really dangerous for you, but your grandfather was actually there and stopped it from being worse than it was. <laughs> I was in a car accident when I was like 18 years old because I felt that I lost myself and I didn't know what to do. And I took a whole bunch of sleeping tablets and I took a whole bunch of alcohol and I got into the car with my friend. I don't only make three houses down the road and I crashed like into the telegraph pole. The passenger, like my friend, who I didn't mean to do anything to, all of her collarbones and everything was like completely broken like everywhere oh. I wasn't I felt at all and all I got was a tiny little scar on my head like nothing happened to me oh. and the oh. her, like, it was really bad for her mm. like she was wearing a seatbelt I wasn't wearing a seatbelt at all like I was the driver and the, all the damage was done on the driver's side but I just got a tiny little scar wow. on my head that's, he made sure of that like he was there to make sure that nothing bad happened to you that divine intervention happened around you um and i know that's why he's, he's bringing it up now and i can't I know- believe that you're saying all this stuff to me like i can't believe that like you know this stuff that like, this was like fucked up like i never thought for one second that i'd fucking end up crying i'm in like hysterical right now this is ridiculous <laughs> But no, like they they really do just want you to uh, know how much they love you and how much they they are watching over you. She's showing me this like she always wore a silver chain with a cross on it. Is that right? Always. Yeah. Always. She's showing me this silver chain and the cross, and like it never left her. And she's just saying, "Look, I've still I've still wear this." And... Have you got a tattoo for her? Yeah. Yeah, she's saying he, he's got me on his arm or he's got something for me on, on, on his arm. I have, like, we always use this prayer. It's called, like, the St. Michael's Prayer. And I got St. Michael tattooed on my arm, like, oh. after a couple of years after she passed over because we would always pray to St. Michael together. Oh. And that would be our thing that we'd do together. So I got him tattooed on my arm. Yeah. <laughs> I know yeah. that she's, she's pointing at, at your arm and she's saying he's got a little piece of me or always with him. You're, what is it with roses for her? She'd always plant her roses. Like she, 
she loved roses like she loved it and that's why my tattoo with saint michael that i have here is covered and my whole arm is covered with roses and with saint oh, michael well. oh, yeah okay. okay so that's that's for her as well yeah, yeah. that makes sense <laughs> she's saying i shouldn't say this but tell him he's the favorite <laughs> i will never forget when she turned around to me when i was a little boy before she died and she turned around and she whispered it to my ear when i was like 12 years old oh wow yeah. favorite i love you i truly ever said it once but i'll never forget it and that's it just... so sweet isn't it yeah you're you're so special to her like i remember and i'll never forget it when she turned around and she whispered in my ear and she told me and she turned around, looked me in the eyes, and she hugged me, and she says, you're my favourite. You'll always be my favourite. I love you. She said that to me only ever once. Aww. And I, I will never, ever, ever forget that. I won't. And for you to just tell me to say that she told you that she told me that, and she still... Yeah. That is that no one... I just really miss her, you know, and I just wish that... I just wish that I just had a little bit more time with her. But let, now that I don't have that time with her anymore, now that I know that you've just, you've, you've told me only things that her and I would ever know, I know that she's in a better place now. And I know that she's okay. And I just like, one of the things that I mainly worried and I was concerned about is that, I don't know what happens after you die. Like, I don't know, no one does. But for you to tell me now that, Though that one thing that she told me that no one ever knew, no one knew that, no one knew that at all whatsoever. So for you to reassure me right now and you to repeat that to me and for you to tell me now that she's in a better place with my granddaughter, which is with Pop, that has just made me so, so happy. Thank you so oh, much. My pleasure.